Hello and welcome back um, to Moon Ring. I fully explored the outer ring and there is really nothing else. Um, not, not that I could remember. Uh, I did look up where the last locust part is in because I don't think that it was anything like special. Like I, I really don't, it really just means I had to look through all the dungeons. I think I do actually have them all. So I'm just gonna have to go through them one by one. It's something I could probably do off camera but I think we're going to be doing it today instead. Um, it's the last thing basically I have to do for the locust parts. Uh, not sure. I might have to go back to Wintershoal. Um, apparently killing Slethen unlocks the relic dungeon, but I'm not sure if I have actually unlocked the relic dungeon. So we'll have to do that as well. But I'm here just to get the, um, the, uh, whatever you want to call it stuff. You have the ingredients. Yeah. Let me see them. This is outstanding. Astounding, sorry. And none have toiled this much. It is a true honor to our craft. Would you like me to brew the solvent for you? Brew. I shall do so at once. Oops. Oh dear. Phew, I salvaged it. It is done. Take it with my admiration. Handmaiden makes the solvent and hands it to you. The solvent. Um, all right, we're good for the solvent. We have the solvent. Now let's take the nearest... We have our boat, but... Um, oh, that they're just maddened. Uh, let's take our... Oh, wow. This is the closest one to the Red Grove. This place kind of sucks in terms of, like, how close our uh, fast travel is. It's not very good. But I'm going to do it all the same. I don't think I want to try the necropolis just yet. I'd like to cover other things first. I basically want to do everything before I start trying to do the relic dungeons because they really are brutally difficult. And maybe maybe I want to hire some uh, mercenaries to do them because like that, that isn't really... That is something I haven't explored. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do these one by one. We could go to the poison cross first. But I think I want to go to Wintershold real quick. Uh, Burning Rock. No, we want to go to whatever this one is. This is uh, Harrow Dust. And then from Harrow Dust, we can go to um, Wintershold. You are rotting. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, Wintershold. Oh, God. God, that was a shock. Let's just, like, throw a bloodstone up there. I don't really feel like taking a bunch of damage from bats. We're going to go to Wintershoal, and we're going to present... I, I don't think I ever actually talked to the priest here after I killed Slethen. Hello again. Um, garden. The Garden of Lorelei, it is to the north. But Slethen's madness makes entry impossible. The way is closed while the beast lives. So even though the garden is not far, it is beyond anyone's reach. Okay, so it's north. Um, did I know that? I guess I did. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try this. As is my fashion to, you know, like, just try a, a dungeon before. I'm, I'm just, I, I just want to leave this combat. I do not want to pursue that at all. We've got tons of healing. We've got tons of, uh, you know, recovery. We should be good. Slethen's head. All right. Apparently, I, I hadn't even tried to do this. So I am going to give it a go. Vast doors lock behind you as you descend. You will have to find the master key somewhere in this dungeon. Um, I, when I looked up where the locust parts are, I did see, um, like, a recommended, like, here's the list of, like, relic dungeons you should go for in the order intended. Maybe, maybe not intended, but they did say that this is basically the easiest of the dungeons. And, um, so I, that's why I'm here. Why are we already almost dead? Oh good, we're bleeding. 
I, I guess I did that. I must have did. I, I must have did that. <laughs> um, convert. No longer bleeding. Still rotting. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, so far this is fine. We got a couple of spiders. Oh, oh wow. Um, but like I did say that about the last dungeon, if you recall, I was like, oh yeah, this is fine. And then suddenly I was d dead. Well, not that suddenly, but you know what I mean? So, uh, I am going to be taking this pretty seriously. Trying not to just like throw my health away. Those guys die pretty, pretty well though. Okay, amber oil, pour into lamp. I don't mess around with amber anymore. Chest key, potion of healing. Oh, I'll take it. If, uh, if there's an option to not get madness, I will take it every time. Because it is such a problem. It is such a bummer. I am hiding, believe it or not. I am actually using stealth. It's been a while. It's been a while since I used stealth. Mostly I'm using it so that I don't uh, use my oil. Yeah, I figured there was a trap there or something. I don't know. Okay. We hit a switch. The only reason I don't stealth more often is because it just makes things take a lot longer. And I get a little bit impatient. I get a lot impatient, let's be honest. Ooh, more amber oil. We have a lot of that now, which is nice. I'll, I'll always take amber oil. Ow, jeez. Oh, we're not poisoned? I thought we were poisoned. I really wish that Bloody Feast did more. In fact, it does so much nothing. What, uh, I think I'm gonna replace it with something else. What is this? All attacks upon your person are reflected back on the attacker. I mean, that sounds really good, actually. I'm not sure why I haven't been using that. Since the presence of all living things within visual range isn't bad. Place a small annoying doll on the floor, which will explode a short time later. I should try something like that, although that is 80. Um... Is there seriously a bunch of things in this that I haven't gone for? I guess, okay, traps and stuff like that. I, I guess I understand why I haven't done that. Battle charge. That costs a hundred? Good lord, that's not worth it. Fire your ranged weapon in a rapid circle. Oh yeah, burrowing shot. I should use that more often. Um, I'm just like looking at stuff to replace Bloody Feast with. May as well make it Retribution because like, oh, I already had Retribution Retribution on our uh, hop bar. All right, well then let's make the, the angel Paragon nine because like that's actually useful. In fact, I'm gonna throw that down right now because it can fly and it'll go ahead and take care of that guy for me. They're very useful. Um, probably, like, the fact that the angels, uh, like, all of the summons cost 100 means that I can't, like, there's not really a much point in taking more than one summon, because you're not going to be able to place more than one summon on the field, like, unless you're taking stereo drafts. You could do that, that's probably pretty valid. There is good reason to do that, but, um... I don't know, I guess I just didn't want to play so wastefully. Large copper key, that's nice. There's a beetle. Go ahead and take care of that for me, beetle, or a uh, paragon. Wow, you took quite a bit of damage from that beetle, I have to say. <laughs> for being for being a very powerful, like, demigod, you really kind of took quite a bit of damage on the chin there. Oh, you just kind of flew over the water and took care of that for me. Appreciate that. Angel is is very nice. 
you can't you can't do any combat yourself but when you've got a paragon angel do you really have to Ooh, what the heck is that i haven't seen one of those wow you just like killed it in one hit huh that's nice appreciate that just gonna go over here i don't think i have i explored over here yet i guess i have that might have been where i came from actually You do get some energy back. Yeah, it's over here. I didn't explore. You get some energy back because you get your energy from the angel's attacks. But it's not going to make up enough to summon another angel. Wouldn't that be nice, though? I wonder if, like, through some miracle... Um the angel managed to accrue enough energy that you could summon another angel would it summon a second angel or would it just re-summon the original angel what do you think what do you what do you, you you in the comments <laughs> i don't know let me know what happened to my voice there? that was that was pretty fun all right yeah, let's just kind of take this bolt. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and summon our Paragon again. Wow, that, that thing did a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay, we didn't uh, we didn't fully lose our poise. That was kind of nice, and we have enough for another angel. I'm I'm gonna be making quick, lots of use of this angel to be honest, because it is proving to be very helpful. I'm sure someone out there is like, <laughs> just like oh, he's finally using the actual summon he took like ages ago. Finally, I'm like, you know, it takes uh, sometimes it takes time for me to come around to these things. Hey, I wonder if I cast a spell, is that seen as a aggressive action? I was just wondering if I did like retribution after casting the angel. I wonder if that would count as a as an aggressive action. the you can shoot the webs with the arrows this is going pretty well by the way i haven't really said made much about it but this is going very well what is this is that anything yeah you don't really mean much to me anymore shiny bug is nothing doesn't even matter Okay, Paragon, go ahead and go, go, go do my bidding for me for a little bit. I feel like taking a rest, you know? Oh, I, I actually did a violent action here that would have unsummoned them. That's fine. Wow, somehow I made back 50 energy. From that angel. Got another Rosetta, which is nice, actually. Those Rosettas, uh, they, they're, they're quite a lot of money. So I actually really appreciate finding them. There's a reason to care, still. Okay, can, can we... Okay, Paragon time. Go, Paragon. Go do a bunch of stuff. Appreciate you, bud. Let me know what you find. Did you find anything good? Cool. We're getting some scraps of ancient metal, which is nice. 
Uh, I think I have enough now that, I, like, if we encountered something really nasty, I could, like, summon the Paragon and a couple of Constructs and, like, really just take them all out. Wow, Paragon, you really are doing work. Appreciate you, bud. I wonder what the best um, summon is. Is that the Guardian? That's a devotional tier. Oh my goodness. There's no way that was the Guardian. That was way too easy. <laughs> Someone out there. It's easy when you use the summon that you took. Yeah. So? What? what you, so? Kind of really nice. We're, we're getting, like, consistently we're getting uh, 50 energy back from the angel. Tiny steel key. Throwing daggers. Paragon time. Go, Paragon. Appreciate you, bud. I don't honestly even care if the Paragon dies, like, instantly. What are these? They're supposed to be something. There's no way that those are nothing. We have another floor down. I don't know how far down these things go. Kind of want to fully explore. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, that... It, it could have been a healing potion. <laughs> it was a... It was a nectar... But it could have been a healing potion, and if it was, then that it would have been worth exploring that little bit. Whoa. Okay, our poise is down. Um, let's do a slam. Just to get them away from me for a moment. I know they have range. God, I was really trying to avoid that. Trying desperately to avoid... Oh, I hate that. Taking damage from them. I got my poise back, so we could throw down... You know what? Let's just go ahead and take a... Staria Draft. And then Paragon. Oh, I guess we need a Staria... Staria Draft and a Root. Yep. Because these guys... The Paragon takes these guys out to dinner. Look, like, look how much damage they do in one hit. Almost instantly killed that guy. Take out that last one. Ah. Uh... They don't bleed, but they do die. <laughs> this place is creepy. Managed to walk in all of the oil. Yeah, I can see why this was recommended as being the first relic dungeon because I think I'm at the bottom of this dungeon and it's still not feeling like nearly as bad. I think that the main challenge of the wolf is that you have to defeat Slethen. But Slethen isn't really all that big of a deal when you have Slethen's Tooth. I mean, that's the whole point. You can't defeat them if you don't have Slethen's Tooth. What is that? That thing seems to be creating madness. Well, they died. Um, T. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm just wondering what I got from that chest. Was it just, it, did it just have a thingy in it? You hear echoes of a rotten song. 
Oh, I see. That's that's what's happening. That seemed really definitive, but there was not really anything over there. Oh, you know, I didn't realize that oh, I did I I knew this, but I forgot that if you like bump into water, then you get the wet status. That probably helps a lot against fire, huh? Probably I should have figured that out quite a while ago, huh? Good lord, sometimes. My brain. Well, there's no way I finish this. Was that the- was that really it? Because I don't see anything else here. I mean, there's a little bit on this right side, but I'm pretty sure that's just the wall of the dungeon. Seems like the more I move, the more of the rotten song I hear. Okay, I mean... I feel like that's it. I don't know what I got, if anything, down there. I'm just double-checking these to make sure that they're nothing. Oh, travel! Oh, it's fast travel. God oh, damn, okay. Did I get the master key? I, I don't even know. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna try leaving and we'll see what happens. And then, uh, left, down, right, down, right, down. Oh, God. Down, right, down, left. Uh, down, <laughs> left. All right. So, can I leave? Door at the top of the stairs is locked. You'll have to find the master key. I, I've done everything, but I've done everything, though. I thought I did, like, everything, though. I wonder... I wonder if at the bottom I have to speak the true name of the god. I wonder if there's, like, an added, like, puzzle I have to solve here. All right, I'm going to go back downstairs i'll do a pause so you don't have to watch this okay i'm here i feel like this is like oh wait is there more there that i just completely didn't see oh my god uh yeah i guess so so i, I didn't do everything not even close ah my seraph my paragon kind of want them back before I go and do more combat. A tuner. Um, let's refill the lamp. I'm actually grateful for these guys because I don't mind fighting these guys to get our energy back. And in fact, that gave us enough for our paragons. Let's go ahead and summon them back. Oh, they're just going to run off and do some stuff. That's cool. Um, are they dead? Paragon. 
Yo, Paragon, I can't I can't hurt this guy until where are you going? <laughs> oh, there they are back. Okay, nice. Please kill this lad for me. Thank you. Appreciate you. P appreciate you, Paragon. You're great. I can't I can't I can't fight them when I summon the Paragon. Uh The song apparently is getting louder. Okay. Pretty tin key. You are rotting. I was wondering if it was going to start giving me the rotting status, seeing as the uh, song itself was, quotation marks, uh, rotten. I would like to get our paragon, uh, enough for a paragon before I leave this floor. This is still not, like, really that bad. Ah, uh, I was hoping to get that oil back. Ooh, is that the cause of the song? That is a cause of the song? Yeah, the song is now subsiding. Okay. So we gotta find whatever that thing was. Some kind of siren. Uh, to stop the song, but it didn't really, it wasn't really a big deal. We have one more floor. This, this continues. We have wolves. We have little gnomes. Okay, I just, before I killed this gnome or attacked the gnome, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wasting my Paragon. Come back here. Oh, let's uh, summon our Paragon. They can they can chase chase the gnome. That's fine. Oh, water. That's actually nice. Go and attack that thing. Yeah, that's that's actually a problem, and not the gnome. I don't mind the gnome, to be honest. Yeah, just it's just those little spiky rotten things kind of suck. I'm not a huge fan of those Uh, I'm bleeding something is in front of me here Uh, this is kind of a problem Let's throw down this. I'm already bleeding, so it doesn't matter. Invulnerable. Okay, I have to kill this guy first, clearly. Wow, I am almost dead. Okay. Large potion of healing. We've, we were really set for those, which is nice. Get rid of our bleeding. Is there still something here? Okay. What was it? Moon mage. Okay. This little gnome is still alive. There we go. It's finally dead. Chest key. Do we have enough for a paragon? We don't. Uh, we should have enough soon. Ugh, shadow bolt. I'm, I probably should use those, but I don't know when and like trying it on enemies just to see if they will take damage is kind of a bummer. Okay, we have enough for a paragon now. Let's fill our bottle. Um, throw out the paragon. We don't, I don't need to throw it out that early, but I may as well. Because I don't want to be like killing things when uh i could have the paragon killing them for me and then i'll be oh that was a mistake i didn't mean to do that just completely wasted them okay these are fast travel i found out we don't need to fast travel just yet 
throw that out. That didn't do very much damage, I have to say. Oh, where did do you guys all come from? Okay, Paragon time. Gonna have to be a little bit more careful not to accidentally hit an enemy that suddenly spawns out of a chest. Oh, is that another gnome? I wonder if we could like corner it. There we go. <laughs> it's dropping so many health potions. Oh, that was so good. I know I uh, got, I lost my, my Seraph again. That's fine. We almost have enough for another one. Um, refill lamp. Let's go ahead and do that. May as well. We must be getting pretty close to the end of this dungeon. I don't know how many floors there are, but this is starting to feel a little bit crazy. Ooh, a devotional tear. My goodness. That's a nice find. Uh... Okay, down. Down, right down. Something else to loot. Moldy fruit. Haven stone. I actually really appreciate finding haven stones. I feel like I never have enough of those. Refill empty bottle. We have 19 of those now. I'm, I'm going to be very... Uh, liberal with the use of those. Not that I haven't already. Okay, so I think the door to our south has opened up now. We don't have enough for a paragon, but we're pretty close. I I, I hope that this series isn't going to be too boring when the combat has devolved to... Oh, you know, I have enough for a paragon. Paragon time. Okay, paragon time. Throwing out a paragon. All right. Three more paragons. Paragon time. Throwing out a paragon. Wow, that paragon did not last long. Light glass key. Okay. We still have another floor. Kind of getting crazy here. Bandage. Wow. Oh. Oh, bandage is probably good against bleed, huh? Heck yeah, bud. Can't tell you actually how much I need that. All right. Last floor? Ple please? The only thing about the Paragon is it doesn't have very much if any um speed like it's very slow so it takes damage and it's got like no armor so it, it just dies when it takes a hit but circular wire key circular wire key huh ah, i hate you stupid beetle that's exactly why they place those there by the way Get some of our poise back. How come we're not getting our poise back? I guess we have to like do a little bit of combat first. What's this? Ooh, that's quite a lot of money. Okay, Paragon time. Got some broken minor construct. Notice I'm putting in like a little tiny bit of a delay after I open up boxes and barrels and stuff. Just on the off chance it is in fact 
it does have a beetle in it. My goodness. Oh, okay. Paragon dead. It's okay. Paragon back. Nothing useful. Oh, we got a little gnome. I know they're probably not a gnome, but they look like a little gnome to me. Chest key. Cool. That's probably for the chest to our north. Ow. You managed to get a pretty hefty hit in there. A large potion of healing, huh? That's nice. I saw a gra. I'm wondering if Rabufu is in there. Um, yeah, I, I have a, I mean, even if our paragon didn't die, we just, um, smacked that wolf, so they're dead now. Let's try and get, uh, never mind. I was gonna show you, let's try and get a sneak attack on this wolf. Nope. This is, uh, turning out to be a very hefty dungeon. Yeah, I knew you were there. I don't care. How do we get... Oh, well... Yeah, how do we get over there? Did I lose my paragon again? I don't even remember getting a key, but I thought I just tried this door. Find the correct pressure plate. I don't know where that's going to be. That could be literally anywhere. And I'm not seeing any places I haven't explored. Except for maybe down here. I do wish there was a bit more of a, a better fast travel system for uh, the dungeons because it can get a little bit wearisome. We've got enough for a paragon. All right, here we go. This is this is unexplored. I'm not going to summon them just yet. Yeah, because we got this room to contend with. Here we go. Pressure plate. Also, I want to save the Paragon for whatever's in that room because I'm hoping this is the last floor. Otherwise, this is kind of a bit too much, I'm going to say. It's quite a lot. I'm now, like, extra dreading the other Relic Dungeons if, like all of them have this many floors and are like actually really difficult. Okay, come here, buddy. You've got a key that I need. Ugh, I had him. Chest key. Starving. Do we have any food? We have tons of food. I'm just going to eat the moldy stuff. Okay, let's summon the Paragon for this guy. Wow. <laughs> Instantly dead. Are you kidding me? How far does this go? Scrying stone, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. There's the siren. There was the siren.
actually actively avoiding those uh, skeletons now because they've almost always been like beetles. They can be beetles even if you've already walked over them, by the way. Pretty sure our paragon is dead. Um, let's do... well, let's do a paragon. Paragon, uh, you have to kill that guy, yeah. No, stop. Please stop. Um, are these guys all invincible now? Because they're all shielding each other. How am I supposed to defeat this? They're, they're all shielding each other. I can't do anything about this now. Are they all, like, am I just... Am I just screwed? I, I think I'm actually hosed. I, I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. Is there a potion that undoes these shields? Uh, silence. That doesn't seem to do it. Um, this is a huge problem. I swear to God, if I lose here, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit cheesed because my paragon didn't kill the guy that was making the shield. They're invulnerable. I, I can't do anything to these guys at all. This shouldn't be a thing that can happen. IMO. And now I'm trapped. Um, contact with skin causes deafness. I'm going to drink a draft and slam this guy. I'm going to try it. I'm actually going to leave the floor. So, um, I might have to break the episode here because that, I don't know what to do. Like, that's, that's not going away, right? They're, they're, they're going to be there. Yeah. The fact that they still have the shield and the guy's not even visible on the tile. That's, that's like almost borderline a soft lock. The fact that two guys can put a shield on each other and basically make themselves completely impossible to kill. I, I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that. I wonder if maybe I have a weapon that would go through magic or something like. Uh, or do magical damage. Yeah, I'm not doing any magical damage. I wonder if maybe like uh, this is where a rod of darkness like Rod of Shadow Bolt might actually be the thing. Wand of Moonlight. Bone, Bane to corpses and spirits animated by corpse light. We could throw down like a stone puppet. Let me try one more time before I break the episode. I'm going to throw down a stone puppet. Excuse me. Force mimicry upon a target makes their use illegal. What if we try the wand? What? 
So I, I did I still did nothing. Is that is that what I'm hearing? This is uh this is really frustrating. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against these guys now. Orb of insanity. Orb of decay maybe. Uh Apparently I have an unknown device. Let me just arbitrarily decide to I you know, I'm just going to like put off the idea that this is happening uh, below me. Where is my Rosetta stones? Glass orb. Orb of veils. What does that do? Confer blindness upon its user makes its popularity with followers upon its user. So these these do upon their user. Swap places. This might actually be helpful for me. Cross of force. Uh, capable of sending a wall of force in one of the cardinal directions. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out on the next episode. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, uh, let me know uh, in the comments what what you would do. What what how would you deal with the situation? And um, if you could hit the like button and consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.